Hi guys, today I'm going to be making a Mexican casserole made with cornbread. I guess you could call this a Tex-Mex bake. So I was making dinner and I just figured I'd take you guys along with me. So I have rice ready and some of the rice will be used in the casserole, but some of the rice will be put on the side. And also I could have put corn in this, but I decided not to because um, I have some very picky eaters and they can have their corn on the side. Same thing with jalapenos and sour cream and cilantro, etc. I'm turning down the heat and I burnt my wrist. <laughs> All right, so I've got my rice cooking and I've got my ground beef cooking and I love my cast iron skillet so much. It's a little small for this amount of beef, but I think this particular ground beef that I got has a lot of fat in it. And so I decided to just go ahead and cook it and then drain the fat. And I took a big pot and put my strainer on top of the pot. That way the fat doesn't go into my drain. And then I have some ground cumin. Cumin is probably one of my most favorite spices out there. I love to use it in everything. I love Mexican food. Pour that chili on there, girl. Pour that chili on there. Adobo, another staple. It's got garlic, uh, pepper, salt, and onion. And something else I'm missing. Paprika? Well, you can make this however you want. If you don't want to use the spices separately, you can always get a packet of taco mix. I just have these items on hand, and so I did it this way. Rotel tomatoes. You don't have to get the Rotel brand, but any type of diced tomatoes with chilies in it is great. Don't drain anything. Just add all the juices to it. Same thing with the spicy chili pinto beans with the sauce. This is the Publix brand. Any brand will do just fine. And you can also add different types of beans. You can add black beans, kidney beans. I just really just grabbed whatever I had on hand in my pantry. And then this is the cornbread. This is just a basic honey cornbread mix that I got from Aldi. And I'm just showing that you add milk, oil, and egg. And you just mix it up as if you were just making regular cornbread. So this serves about eight people. We did have some leftovers. That is fresh chopped garlic. I buy the kind that's already peeled. Saves me some time. You can buy minced garlic in a jar as well but I like to buy the big cloves. And we ran out of onion, so I just happened to have some minced onion in a jar, some dehydrated onion, so I put that on there. But I really like fresh onion, even though the kids don't like it. But they'll eat this, they'll eat the dehydrated onion. So my rice still had about five minutes left to cook. But because I'm baking this dish, I went ahead and put in a couple of spoonfuls or scoopfuls of the rice on top. You can skip this step, step if you want to and just have your rice on the side.
putting my rice off away from the burner. And then just smooth out the rice so that it's even because I'm going to pour that cornbread mix on top of it. And I should have gotten my squeegee first instead of using that plastic spoon. So I went ahead and got my squeegee silicone spatula and finished it off because I want every bit of that cornbread mix to get on my casserole. This is such a versatile meal. You can add whatever you want to this. Some people like to put creamed corn mixed in with their cornbread. Some people like to put like little chopped up jalapeno peppers. I put bell peppers on mine and I put it on the top because I like that roasted bell pepper flavor. And then also if the kids don't like it, they can just pick it out. So I left mine a big chunk. these big chunks right here. That way they can just pull them out. And then you just pop it in the oven. And while I'm cleaning up my mess, I'm having a little bit of Pinot Grigio. This is the Winking Owl brand from Aldi. It's literally like $3 a bottle and I love it so much. So here's where I thought it was done and it looked so beautiful and then I went to get it out and oh my goodness, liquid batter, <laughs> not good. So I popped it back in the oven for a little while longer and now it's nice and golden brown. And my husband is making himself his bowl to go because he works nights. He's a truck driver. And so he's getting himself a nice big helping to put in his bowl. So he has a nice hearty meal. I think this is one of his most favorite meals that I make for him. He tops it with a little cheese. And we're done, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below if you like cooking videos. I don't really do too many of them, although um, I can make more if you want me to. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. Otherwise, I'll just stick to my other videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.